So do you remember when I told you about that trip to Iceland, my attempt to see puffins? I do recall this, Norm. Yes. Are we, are we going to go on a journey to Iceland by any chance? We're going to go on a journey to Iceland. But what we're going to do is we're going to travel over there. I'm going to show some really pretty scenery. And then while we're there, I think we could go through the adventure of my attempt to see uh, puffins in the wild. What do you think, Brian? Would you think that would be fun? Certainly would. Uh, but it does kind of sound like a cliffhanger episode. We haven't done one of those yet. So uh, let's, yeah. let's get on this journey. Okay, all right, so uh, let's go on the cliffhanger. Would, would you like to go to I Iceland also? Take us to Iceland, Norm. It was time to jump on a plane as the crew set a northeasterly course. The route took us over some northern areas of Canada and parts of Greenland. Summer days are long here. Look how beautiful it was through the window of the airplane after midnight. When morning arrived, I was in Iceland. I have a feeling this incredible country will have more episodes over the coming months. I rented a tourist apartment in Reykjavik, the capital and largest city in the country. It is in the southwestern part of the country. Since Iceland is a small country, I could travel to many places on long day trips. I didn't find the road signs that helpful for me. Icelandic is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and the layout of the signs were different than I had seen in other places. One day I decided to travel north on the ring road that circles the country. This road is paved and it's an easy drive. The scenery was magnificent. After I had driven far to the north, I had reached the cutoff I was looking for. This road, along with a few more, was on my path to where I was going in search of puffins in the wild. This region is the West Fjords, a very sparsely populated area in the northwestern part of the nation. With so few people living there, they didn't bother paving the two-directional, one-and-a-half lane-wide roads. At times, the roads were gravel, at other times they were dirt, and due to the frequent rains, sometimes they were mud. I was really glad I had an SUV. The West Fjords have truly magnificent scenery that was carved by glaciers and other forces of nature. I saw so many incredible sights along the way. How many times do you get to see a rainbow that ends in a lake? These long, challenging, and really fun roads ended at the westernmost point of Iceland and of Europe as well. I arrived about the time that the puffins were coming home from a long day at sea. Being this far north during the summer, it was much later than it may appear in these photos. Now it's time for the cliffhanger that Brian brought up earlier. North Atlantic puffins make their little homes in the side of steep cliffs. These are not very stable cliffs. I got on my stomach, slowly moved forward to the edge of the cliff, balanced carefully, and hung over the cliff at the waist. I had reached my goal. I saw thousands of puffins in the wild, some in the distance and some up very close. If you look carefully, you can see many puffins in these cliffs. They were really cute. I spent about an hour looking at these incredible birds. Unfortunately, the battery on my camera ran out before I was done taking pictures, and it would have been a bit difficult to change the battery in this unusual position. So I did the next best thing. I pulled my iPhone out of my pocket and continued taking photos. It was getting quite late, and it was time for the long drive back to Reykjavik. There was still enough light to enjoy more of the scenery along the way. And about that meal at the beginning of the video, it was delicious. So Jake, uh, what did you think of that episode uh, to Iceland? It was great. I'm still looking for puffins. Uh, I find I, any. Yeah, this typically isn't the average place you'd find a puffin, but oh. I think I can help a bit with oh, really? this. What, 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 what do you think? Thank you. Mission success.